Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today I'm going to chat about two things. So we're going to chat about the you know the match preview for Luton Town versus Reading, but also we're going to talk about something that's happened in football and it well it's kind of blown up in football in the last 48 hours. And if you guys did not know what's happened, basically a few teams, well, I say a few teams, about 15 teams have decided that they want to create a Super League that it's just everything that's wrong with football, basically. It's just an awful idea. It's I've struggled to think of words to describe what's actually going on. Well, I can't believe it's actually happening. It's just a joke. It really is a joke. It's not football, it's... I don't even know what it is. It's not even a sport, because... If you don't know what's basically happening, is The teams that have decided that they want to go into this league, so they say in the top six in England, which aren't even the top six in England, by the way, are going to go into this league where they are going to compete throughout the season, so throughout the normal season in the Prem. So, for example, Man United are one of these teams that have decided that they want to be in it they will play in the Premier League throughout the season but also play in the Super League alongside it so they'll play one game a week in the Super League so they'll play midweek while playing the Premier League game on the Saturday they haven't told the other teams in the Premier League that they're going to do this they've gone out of their own way and they're doing this and they're doing this Super League thing because of money and that's all it is. They want to maximise their profits. They want to maximise like, the amount of money they can make. And if they go into this Super League, they make more money. It's just what's wrong with football. Football started for me... Well, I learned about football from people you know, who grew up. You know, like Your family all told you about this. Like, well, they make you fall in love with football. And it all started... Like from Preston, you know, Preston were the team that started all this, and it was created by the poor. You know, the poor started this. Now it's been taken over by the rich. There's too much money in football. Things need to be sorted. UEFA, the FA, the Premier League. Things need to be better going forward now because due to how bad they've done their jobs over the last twenty years, it's come to this. And I'm surprised it's taken this long. To be fair. It really, it's shocking. It's absolutely shocking. Like, why? If you're a Man United fan, and I'm pretty sure there ain't many Man United fans watching this video, why do you want to play PSG four times a year? Well, PSG are not even one of the teams that are in the Super League. Why do you want to play Real Madrid four times a season? Why? Surely that's what the Champions League is for. You know, one season you could potentially play... Barcelona and Real Madrid. The following year, you could play PSG or Bayern Munich. Now, that's the joys of the Champions League. When you make that a reality, a like a normality that, oh, you got to play these teams every single season, four times a season, in fact, it gets boring. No promotion, no relegation. That's not football. Pep Guardiola came out in his Manchester City press conference and said... You know, that's not football. That's not a sport. And it ain't. It's not a sport. It's not, a, it's not football. But what makes me laugh is Manchester City, 20 years ago, without that money they were invested by, by their owners, they are not a top six side. Historically, Manchester City are not a top six side. Tottenham are not a top six side. How do you justify yourself being a top six like side? And what really frustrates me the most is... Any one of our clubs could be a top six side. All it takes is a billionaire owner to buy our club and turn us into a top six side. That's all it takes. It could happen to Luton. It could happen to Reading. It could happen to anyone. So why can't in the next 20 years we see a new top six? You know, the top six now weren't the top six when football first started. It was Preston. It was Blackburn. It was Burnley. It was Aquiton Stanley. You know, they were like the original teams in Bolton as well. You know, all these northern clubs, they were the original top six. 
not the current ones now. So it it's laughable. This whole thing is laughable. I thought I needed to bring it up because it's a hot topic at the moment. It's a disgrace. It's an absolutely disgrace. I hope it flops. And the English teams that have agreed to do this, I hope they get punished. Not a slap on the wrist, not point deductions which won't affect them. You know, they need to be punished, whether that's get them whether that's being relegated to the National League or whatever, I don't know. They need to have some sort of punishment. You know, I feel like finding these clubs won't do enough because they're backed by millionaires. You know, what's a, what's a fine going to do? So I feel like if you're going to damage something, you need to damage them. Well, you need to damage these clubs properly. And if that's relegation to the National League, so be it. So be it that we see six teams promoted from the Championship into the Prem. I don't care. These teams need to be punished. They shouldn't be allowed to do what they've just done. It's wrong on so many levels. But anyway, I think I've talked about this Super League way, like, way too long. But anyway, we're going to move on to the actual match preview between Luton and Reading. Not the most glamorous of ties. We have to admit that. You know, I'm pretty sure Luton and Reading fans are fed up of playing each other. This is the fourth time both of these teams are playing this season. We've played Reading in the FA Cup, in the League Cup. And obviously once already in the league. Now Luton have won twice in the cup games. Beat Reading 1-0 in the FA Cup. And also 1-0 in the League Cup. And then Reading won 2-1 at home in the first um, game between Luton and Reading in the league. That made a lot of sense in my head. But yeah. So yeah. Both teams are fed up really of playing each other. So, But for this game... It doesn't mean much for Luton. Pretty much Luton's season is finished. It's 100% confirmed. Luton cannot go down. We've got the season which we all wanted, which was to stay away from the relegation places, which was to be in this current situation, really. You know, five games remaining in the season, just be safe. And we've done exactly that. Fair play to the players, the owners and the management team for doing that. But for Luton's like, point of view, it's to try and finish the season as strong as possible. So, well, and try and finish as high as possible. Can we break the record? Can we finish as high as we... Well, can we break the record of our highest ever league like finish in a season from for so many years? You know, I think the highest is 10th, I believe. But yeah, um, yeah, I think it's 10th is the highest which we've finished in the championship I can't remember the exact position but can Luton break that um, record you know and it would be interesting to see if we can also from now until the end of the season I'm expecting Luton to you know change the system a little bit maybe look at a few different players because there's going to be some players that are going in in the summer and um, our contract players there's going to be loan players that are going so the likes of Dushby Hall will be leaving in the summer so what type of system are we going to play without those players? You know, are we going to try different things? Are we going to see some of the youngsters, you know, play a few games in the championship? You know, it'd be really interesting to see the likes of Dion Pereira, for example, come into the side and get a few minutes. You know, what's he all about? Let's see what he can do. However, on the flip side with Reading, they actually have something to play for. You know, they want to finish in those playoff places. Recently, they haven't been on the best run of form. You know, the likes of Barnsley have been on very good form. Bournemouth are hitting form at the right time now. So Reading want to, you know, you know, be in those playoff places. And who knows what happens with this Super League if six teams, if the six teams that agree to go to it and whatever, you know, the Premier League needs six more teams. So whoever finishes top six in the championship could get promotion to the Prem. You know, I honestly we don't know what's going to happen from now until the end of the season, but that could potentially happen. We just don't know. So Reading really need to finish in those playoff places. They've got good players in that team. I don't think Reading are the best of sides, which Luton have played this season. But I think every time we've played Reading, they've always had a few key players out. So they've always ne they've never been like full strength. Hopefully this time round they are. And we get a competitive game. I wouldn't want Luton to lose. I want Luton to finish the season off strongly. 
Fingers crossed that Luton can do that. You know, we've won the last two games. Can we make it three wins on the bounce? We've got QPR coming up. Rotherham at home coming up as well. So we've got a few winnable games coming up. So fingers crossed. Luton, you know, we put in a good performance. We make it hard for Reading, in my opinion. But at the end of the day, we don't really have much to play for. But I'm pretty sure the management team have set a few targets for Nathan and the boys for the end of the season if we hit that, you know, bonuses and stuff like that. So fingers crossed we put in a decent performance, but at the end of the day, this game is for really Reading to, you know, they need to win. You know, they need to finish the season strongly and make sure they are in those power places at the end of the season. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. Not really much I can talk about in this in the Luton v Reading game. It's mainly about the Super League, which has been the hot, like the hottest topic in the last forty eight hours. But hopefully, you did enjoy um, my overall match preview for the game. My score prediction: I reckon it's going to be a tough one. I would, in my head, I got a one one draw, but in my heart, saying one 0 Luton. But I reckon it will be. A 1-1 draw, so I go with a 1-1 draw, and I reckon James Collins will score um, against Reading. But yeah, that is my score prediction. Well, score prediction. Let me know your score predictions down below in the comments. Let me know what starting eleven you would play for this game against Reading. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.